All right, uh, in this video, uh, I will cover um, how to load the train test and the test set separately. Um, so we're going to be using uh, sklearn and TensorFlow for this. So the idea is that we have, you know, usually in, in all the previous labs that we've done, you know, we loaded one data set and then in the data, in the code itself, we would use train test split and break, you know, break up that data set into a train set and a test set. Uh, but it might be useful sometimes to have, you know, a, a file for your train set and a file for your test set, right? So that's what we're gonna do in this um, video. We're just gonna load those. So you can see the files here. Um, so I'm just gonna do nano train, and that's the train file. You can see there it's got uh, the heading, um, and then it's got the individual values. This is the data from the KDD nutrition detection challenge. Um, so I'm gonna close that. We can do the same for the test set. Right, and you can see the same, it's got a heading and then it's got the values that correspond to it. Okay. So now um, we are going to load the sklearn file first, so kdd sklearn, right? And you can see here we have um, it's all the basic code. So I'm not really going to I'm not going to discuss the entire code set because it's pretty much the same, except for the part where we read the data. So you can see here we have. Um, we use gen from text, right? And this code will be made available on our on the GitHub, right? So we load. We still need to load x train and y train, and then x test and y test, right? So we use gen from text here. We read the file. So this is the train file. We indicate the delimiter, right? And then so if I add the backslash here. Right, you can see use columns, uh, and I indicate which columns I want. So, for instance, I want from zero to forty-one. All right, and so that's the, the column set, and then I also specify the data type. All right, with you know, and the encoding, and then skip headers. So that allows me to read in the data. It's pretty much the same thing we've done in the past. You can see that here. Uh, for the Y train, we just use column minus one, which indicates the last column in that matrix, if you will. Then the next step here is to read from test. So pretty much the same thing. Let me add the backslash here. All right, so we read uh, zero to 41 again, and then we read you know, the, 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 the type. And then down, down here, we do the exact same thing. We read from test, but now notice where we indicate use columns is just minus one. So that's the last column. So that's pretty much it. That's how we can read our data into um, sklearn, all right? And then after that, we just have to apply, you know, the same thing. So the label encoder, now it's applied to those matrices. And then we perform all the different uh, conversions. So we typecast at the float once everything is a number. And then we use the standard scalar um, to scale and label the data. And that's it. Once that's done, you know, we pretty much have the same matrices that we had previously. So now I'm going to go ahead and run this. Okay, so I'm going to do Python um, KDD sklearn. And there you can see it runs and um, you know, it runs, you know, like random forest here, and we can see our results. Okay. 
you have logistic regression, decision trees, support vector machines, etc. All right, so that's sklearn. Now let's look at TensorFlow. It's pretty much the same. So I'm going to open up the sklearn, or sorry, the TensorFlow code. All right, and it's pretty much the same code we've used in the past, except now we are again reading in separate data files. So we have, again, we can add the backslash here, use column 0 to 41. That seems to be a neat uh, technique that we can use to read our data. All right, same for the, so that's X train and Y train. Notice here, Y train is the use columns minus one, the last column. We repeat that for the test set, exactly the same. And then after that, pretty much what we did before, we use label encoder, uh, typecast to float, use the standard scalar, and now we have the additional step of running the one hot encoding, right? So we need to run the one hot encoding here. Once we're, com we're done with that, we can, um, run the code. So let me do Python KDD TF. All right. And there it is. So the code is running again, pretty straightforward, but you know, uh, it's useful to have this. Uh, you can get the, the code from the GitHub, uh, download it, and it's just, you know, if, if you ever had any doubts as to how to read your data in from a train, train file, from two separate train and test files, this is how you could do it. All right, so this concludes our video on loading two separate data files.